Hi, you're listening to Book Chat with author Vivian E. Moore. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. This podcast really shows us how we can all learn, live, and thrive off of each other. By sharing our knowledge through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. Hello, and welcome to Book Chat. I am your host, author Vivian Moore. I hope everyone uh, is having a happy new year. I hope you started uh, your year and your week off great. And I hope that you are having an even better weekend. Um, I missed you guys. And, and now that the, um, the holidays are over, uh, hopefully we can start fresh and motivated for 2024. All right. So on that note, today's title is stay and find out. And the topic is expectation versus the reality of success, all right? So, um, you know, as we embrace this new year uh, with hope and enthusiasm, uh, 2024 promises a fresh start and it is brimming with uh, new opportunities to live our best lives and to capitalize on our hopes and our dreams, all right? So, you know, amidst these aspirations, all right, the uh, the phrase, stay and find out, <laughs> uh, it becomes especially poignant, uh, reminding us that the uh, that the journey to success is not only about setting goals, but, but it's also about uh, navigating the unpredictable path ahead, all right? Because we never know what's ahead of us, uh, but we can stay positive and we can stay and find out, all right? So how do we define stay, okay? Or how we define stay means, uh, it means different things for uh, for many different people, all right? So, you know, we can say stay as in, don't move, or stay as in, stop, or stay as in, wait. So today's episode, we will focus on the latter regarding career goals. So we're going to focus on the stay and wait. All right. So first of all, um, we just need to realize that uh, overnight success is an illusion. All right. It does not happen that way for everyone. Some people uh, seemingly can experience that, but the mass majority, it does not happen like that for, for the rest of us. Okay. So expectations, um, you know, with this new year that has already done, uh, many envision success as a swift accent, uh, to the top. All right. Or swift ascent to the top. Let me rephrase that. All right. So it's like a, um, for some, a meteoric, uh, rise that is fueled by groundbreaking ideas or luck. Okay. I don't believe in luck but a lot of people do. All right. So now, you know, we want to turn to, uh, reality or let's just keep it real. All right. So the road to success is, it is rarely (laughs) a straightforward trajectory. Okay. So behind every apparent, uh, overnight success lies a tale of hard work and perseverance and countless setbacks. All right. That's the real. All right, so as we embrace 2024, remember that true success results from consistent effort, resilience, and a willingness to learn from failures, all right? We we all need to learn from our failures because, um, you know, if you don't learn anything from failing, then you're pretty much not going anywhere. You're just stuck, all right? So, um, so let's talk about the pressure of comparison. So, um, expectation, um... You know, it it often brings on a heightened sense of of competitiveness, and uh, and and we compare it to our progress and our achievements or the achievements of others. Okay, so reality, uh, in reality, success is a personal journey. Let's just get that straight, and it is unique to each individual. 
So the pressure of comparisons can impede personal growth. All right. So in 2024, yeah, I'm going to keep saying that. Let's focus on our own pace. All right. And we can learn from our failures once again. And then guess what? We get to celebrate our journeys. All right. So let's talk about the myth of perfection. So in, uh, with expectations, um, you know, sometimes, uh, people or most people, they set new year's resolutions. Okay. For the year ahead. I'm not one of those people, but, uh, the myth persists that successful individuals have everything figured out and they are free from mistakes or imperfections. All right, so we definitely know that at, that that expectation is a myth, all right? But the reality of that is that uh, mistakes are an integral part of any success story. So you should embrace the failure, once again, and use it as a stepping stone and not as a deterrent to growth, all right? So in pursuing, um, you know, our resolutions, let's just understand that success is not about perfection, but learning and adapting and progressing with that new found wisdom. All right. We know that wisdom is the key. So let's talk about the importance of resilience. So, um, you know, with the, with anything, there is an expectation that the journey to success will be smoother uh, once you overcome the initial hurdles. And that is an expectation that we all hope for, but it's still not necessarily so. But the reality of that is that, you know, success is, is, is marked by challenges and, and those unexpected obstacles that seem to spring up seemingly from nowhere. You know, we can be going good, uh, you know, on that straight and narrow course and, you know, we can see ahead of us and there seems to be, you know, just a smooth road ahead of us with no bumps and no lumps, no bruises, no crevices, none of that just smooth rolled ahead. And then from out of nowhere, guess what? <laughs> Those hurdles, they come into play. They get in our way. You know, they make us jump. They make us dodge. They make us do all the things that, uh, that we don't want to do to be successful. But those things are necessary um, on that path to success. All right. So, you know, but if we lack, um, resilience. We, we can't recover again from those setbacks. We need, sometimes we need the, um, we need the good with the bad. That's just life in general. You know, you, you take the good with the bad, you take the lumps and the bruises, um, because it gets you to where you want to be, where you need to be. Um, and that's just the reality of it. And, uh, you know, and, and you must, um, I cannot emphasize this enough. You must adapt to change. Okay. So if you're not open to change, then you're, you're going to be one of those people to stay and just stop. Okay. You, you'll fit that definition of stay. You're just going to stop. You're not going any further because you can't adapt to change. To be human, you must adapt to change because everything changes. It never stays the same. So if you're one of those people who don't do pretty, you know, pretty well with change, then, you know, I'm going to pray for you <laughs> because, um, you know, you can't be successful without experiencing changes. That's just life. You know, um, even within yourself, you know, whether it's on the inside or the outside, guess what? You know, you may have been two years old at some point in your life, but guess what? You're well past that too. So something changed between that two years old age and where you are now, you know, and the way you look, you know, you may have been the best thing going, uh, when you were younger, but as you get older, everything changes the, the way you look, the way you think all of those things. Okay. So that is all a part of change and you have to adapt to it. You know, some of us may not want to, we want to stay young forever. We want to live forever, but that's not reality. All right. That's an expectation but it's not a real expectation. You know, we dwell, we must dwell in reality because that's just a part of life. Um, and you can't, you cannot live your life, um, without change and you have to persist in adversity. All right. Because we know some of us know more than others that, you know, we, we have to challenge those adversities because they are there. And we have to get over those adversities like we have to get over those hurdles, the hurdles that life sets on our course sometimes, okay? So, um, so you know, you have to adapt to change. 
you have to persist in adversity. All right. So, um, and that is so crucial. You know, it's all, it always has been crucial, but if you have set your goals, your sights on being successful in 2024, then, okay, then this show is for you. All right. This message is for you. All right. So let's embody resilience. All right. We need to be resilient. We have to be resilient. You know, we have to, sometimes we have to think of ourselves like, like children. We sometimes know how resilient children are. Um, you know, something tragic can happen. And, uh, you know, and kids will sometimes often recover from it faster than an adult. So, but it's part of that resilience. It's, it's part of their makeup that, that's in the fabric of who they are. All right, so uh, let's embody that. All right, let's embody resilience as we navigate the uncertainties on the path to success. It is achievable. Um, you have to work at it, work at it with everything. You have to have a strong work, work ethic. Okay. All those things go together. They all go together. And, um, and if you want to be successful in 2024, um, first of all, do not measure your success by anyone else's. All right. Because again, you're setting your own goals, you're setting your own achievements and how well you do is based on those factors and not anyone else's, okay? Because some people are overachievers, okay? <laughs> they really are. But I mean, you can be an overachiever as well in in uh, in your own right, okay? So you don't have to you don't have to look at someone else's success to measure your own because you are your own person, and uh, you know what you do, um, your achievements that you make is based on you, okay? So, um, in conclusion of stay and find out, all right, <laughs> and that is, these are fighting words, okay, these are fighting words, let's just say that, you know, because we're fighting for success, and, and it takes on that special meaning in the context of this new year, all right, so, um, so again, you know, as we embrace this journey of 2024, um, and hopefully your 2024 is filled with aspirations and, and dreams. Okay. So, but overall, let's just recognize that success is not a predetermined path. All right. Um, and, uh, and when you embrace the reality of what success means to you, when you understand the true nature of it, and then you stay committed to it, um, and to that personal growth. Um, you will understand that these are the keys to unlocking and fulfilling your full potential because that is so necessary in everything that you have to understand your potential. You have to understand your limits. And if you are a go-getter, keep, keep going. Okay. Don't stop. Do what you need to do and encourage others in the process. So as we celebrate the start of this new year, let's face the unknown. Let's stay resilient. And let's discover the true essence of success. All right, guys. So that is the show for today, for the first Saturday in 2024. Uh, I'm excited about this new year and I hope you are too. Um, and you guys know, as I always say, and I will continue to say this, always tell the ones who you feel about, how you feel about them, uh, because tomorrow um, is not promised. And if you love someone, let them know. Because again, you know, tomorrow is not promised. Today may be the only chance you get to say it. And on that note, I love you. I hope you love me back. And until the next time you hear my voice, God bless you and goodbye. Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, well the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you. Join us again next time when we will be back with more tips, techniques, and cheats to achieve the rewards that you deserve. Thank you so much for your time today. And please, set your podcatcher so that you never, ever miss us. Bye for now. And thanks so much for listening.